you have to brush up the granny them because you don't want the pepper green to hang out underneath your minky yaki pony seal. Hey bunnies, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this sleek pulled back ponytail using a drawstring ponytail, um, Sebastian Plus Hair Shaper, Sebastian Shaper Plus Hairspray, um, a rat tail comb, a boar bristle brush, and yeah, that's it. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Get your part first, and if you have a hair texture like mine, because I don't bone straight relax my hair, I do a text lax, so there is some texture to my hair. The first, so after I find my center, my part, I take my flat iron and just straighten the top part of my hair, just the part that's going to be shown. Make sure that your hair is detangled before you continue. I then get my boar bristle brush and just brush down and try to get it as flat as possible so you want to pull it all the way back pull it down to the sides not necessarily going back but more so going down bring it down and then when it's where you want it to be you start tucking it behind your ear like so if you want you can leave out you know a little thing right here on the side the hair tie that I use just a cloth the cloth one it's not really thick, but it's not as thin as a regular elastic band, rubber band, you know? Yeah. So I pull it back, try to get it as tight, as taut as possible, pulling it all the way back, doing it too tight. No, I hear it snagging. Oh no, don't pop, don't pop, don't pop. Oh, we made it. I got to loop it around like what, four or five times. I'm not getting a chance to take that off again. Now, ideally, you want to make this bun as small as possible. So I have my hair tie here. It's a little bit skinnier than the one I used initially, but it's still thicker than a regular elastic band or rubber band, whatever you're going to call it. So what I'm going to do is just wrap this around and make a really teeny tiny, as small as possible bun. And then put my hair tie around that. I need a trim badly, so don't judge me, okay? <laughs> You have to brush up the granny them because you don't want the pepper green to hang out underneath your minky yaki pony seal. Sebastian Shaper Extra Hold Sebastian Shaper Plus. I'm going to spray that all over my hair just to hold it. So spray. And this is going to help with the little flyaways. it a little bit of sheen as well and you can just use this if you want to but um, extra as you all know so I'm gonna use the my hair um, my edge thingy as well to hold on the front parts of it so the hair we're using is this one here it's 24 inches it's the Isis reversible ombre color yellow tail wrap and tie Premium synthetic hair, yaki pony sale again 24 inches and I'm using it in the color 1B. Usually I get a number two, but because I'm putting the products on the hair, it does my hair does get darker. So 1B is perfect for me. This is what it looks like here. Huh, that's it there. Now with your drawstring ponytail, you are gonna get a comb in the top, a comb in the bottom, and of course the drawstring itself, which we are pretty much all familiar with, correct? Correct. If not, you're welcome. So you're gonna slide in the top piece into the top of your head first, and top of your bun first. Then you're gonna slide in the bottom piece in the back of your bun. And then you're just gonna pull your string. That's my string. Where's my string bro? There it is. Pull your string to tighten it. So and then you wrap this around the bun ponytail combo thing you have going there. And then you take a bobby pin or hairpin and just stick that, stick the end, stick the pin into the end of the knot, the string and stick it in for added security. But you can just you know wrap it around. Once you're doing it tightly, it's gonna stay in place. So that's the ponytail there. I feel like it's too high. But whatever, I like it. I like 
it yeah yeah I like it I like it so I'm going to take my shine and jam conditioning gel and this is the extra hold the one in the orange yellow container they have the one in the purple and we're going to take a little bit of this and just touch up right around the edges yeah yeah just touch up touch up and blend that in smooth it in with the fingertips and catch the little edge then smooth that in all the little pieces here that didn't get catch into the bone smooth that in again if you have a toothbrush go ahead and use that for some reason whenever i use a toothbrush it like doesn't give the same effect that i see it give the other girls so i'm like all right it's not for me so i'll stick to my board bristle brush hasn't failed me yet hasn't disappointed me yet and i'm not using like the flat part i mean by the side of it just to smooth it not necessarily to brush it if that makes any sense so i'm using the top and the sides of the brush and then for my here I'm using the top of the brush you, are you following I hope you're following and then just like that in all right here looks super shiny in comparison to the rest of the hair so what I'm gonna do because I don't want to use a lot of products on my hair is take some uh, into my hand rub it up and then rub it over my hair just so that the shine factor is not just here on my hairline it's like all over so it looks more blended and unlike a gel, it's not going to, it might activate your curls, but it's not going to do it. It's, it doesn't give that wet effect like a gel does. It doesn't make your hair super curly, you know? This is your ponytail. And now because this is a synthetic ponytail, don't use this comb nor this brush to detangle this ponytail, all right? That is going to kill your ponytail before you know it now what you can do at this point it's so thin but that's kind of that's kind of the thing you know you know normally you hear it don't say thick all throughout does it it usually tapers out to the end and gets a little bit thin but um this ponytail is my first time actually using this ponytail i haven't had a drawstring in like years but it's not horrible it does feel very plasticky it does have that because it is synthetic here it's 100 percent synthetic is it consumer fiber it is curling iron safe, I believe up to 350 degrees, it doesn't say how high it gets to. You can use a stove iron on this, but they don't recommend it. it. It literally doesn't say how high you can put the heat, but it is stove iron safe, curling iron safe. So I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't go past like maybe 430, 350, 430, right around there. That's usually how high an electric iron goes up to like 4 or something. So electric iron is perfectly fine and that's what I would stick to. I wouldn't necessarily go to the, the hot iron thing, but you can take this to your stylist your salon wherever and have them install this for you if you want to but as you see it is super easy to install yourself all right but yeah that's it deal i hope you like it we pull it to the bunk it's like all the way down to my bum it's like at my bum like at my bum bum let me turn to the side you see that cute right okay bunnies and that is the end of the video i hope you found this somewhat helpful <laughs> um again i used the isis yellowtail um yaki ponytail in 24 inches in the color 1b they do have a bunch of colors do have actual ombre colors where you can flip and reverse the ponytail if you want to have the lighter side or darker side on top um i got this from my local beauty supply store it was 12.99 that i paid for it it does come in in lengths 14 inch and 18 inch as well so you can check your beauty supply store if they have it I'm going to see if I can find it online for you girls and leave it in the description bar so you guys can check it out. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. If you there's something that I should have mentioned that I didn't mention, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face. Bye. I've heard of um, come burning the eyes. Like back in the day when Twitter was really popping, there was this girl on there. I forget her name, her Twitter handle. And she was she always complained about come burning her eyes and I'm like, why would you want to do that?